Tonight, where are Chloe and Gage? Straight out to Ellie just at Ellie, what do we know? Nancy, this was a devastating house fire at this farmhouse. It's in a rural area of Tennessee, just a little bit south of Nashville. They assumed immediately, since this fire was so hot, so devastating, hardly anything left, that all four occupants of the house, the grandparents, Leon and Molly, McLaren, who are in their 70s, as well as the two children, 9-year-old Chloe and 7-year-old Gage, they assumed they all died in that fire. Nancy, uh, a family member actually even had to draw a map of where the bedrooms had been so investigators knew where to look for remains. They did not find Chloe and Gage in the remains of that house fire. Straight out to Dan O'Donnell, anchor and reporter with WTMJ. Dan, thank you for being with us. Could you explain to me where the bodies of the grandparents found? Yes, the bodies of the grandparents were found in their bedroom, but only because relatives actually drew a diagram of the house. This was such a massive fire. It burned so destructively that there were very few traces of anybody found inside this house. But what I'm trying to determine, Dan O'Donnell, is if the children were in the home and the bodies of the grand... Didn't they even find the, the remains of the dog, the family dog? Right. They did find the remains of the dog. And that's why this is such a mystery, because it would stand to reason, Nancy, that if the bodies of the dog and the grandparents were found, then also the bodies of the children should have been there. But no trace of children's bodies was found inside this house. There was no trace of anybody outside of the house indicating that maybe they had run off to a neighbor's house or something like that. These children just quite simply vanished. Dan O'Donnell uh, joining us tonight from WTMJ. Dan, where were the parents at the time of the fire? Well, the parents, the, the children actually live with the grandparents, and uh -huh. the, ch the parents are uh, sort of in and out of the children's lives. Uh, the father of the younger boy, Gage Daniel, has uh, an extensive criminal record for some minor things, DUI, intoxication, theft, things like that. But they live with the grandparents because there were investigations into the parents by the Tennessee uh, Department of Children's Services for about four years between 2006 okay. and put, put, 2010. Put Dan O'Donnell back up. So were the children taken away from the parents? Uh, yeah, I, I appreciate that he has a record. I'm, I, I'm interested to hear everything I can about them. I didn't hear you mention anything about the mother. And do we know whether, whoa, based on all those photos, he's got quite a record. Were the children taken away from the parents? Did they want the children? Were they, how'd they end up living with the grandparents? Well, as far as I know, and this is rather difficult because, as you know, Nancy, juvenile records are typically sealed and typically uh, difficult to come by. They lived with the grandparents, I believe, uh, voluntarily based on the evidence that I've been able to get. But this mm -hmm. was a situation in which actually the parents are uh, very cooperative with authorities. They're not considered suspects in the children's disappearance or anything like that, that these children, I think it was determined, just were a better fit with living with the grandparents. Hmm. So we know where the mother and father were at the time of the fire? Uh, yes, they have been contacted okay. by authorities on a number of occasions, yes. Do we know the cause of the fire, Dan? No, that's, that's still under investigation hmm. almost two months later. It's still unclear. However, it's interesting to note that because there were 20-plus propane tanks in the basement of this home, that's what caused this fire to uh, literally be more destructive almost than anybody who was in the neighborhood had ever seen or investigators saying this was one of the most destructive house fires that they had ever seen.